Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Breast Cancer Physio. I'm your host Jen McKenzie, lymphedema physiotherapist and ESSA accredited exercise physiologist. In this episode we're going to be talking about the topic of lymphedema prevention but specifically the use of the Impediment Sozo, this device right next to me, in detecting early onset lymphedema and how it can be used to help prevent progression to chronic lymphedema. So without further ado, if you do enjoy this content and you would like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Give the video a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions on the Impediment Sozo or lymphedema prevention. Now the reason I wanted to do this video is because it is Lymphedema Awareness Week this week in the world. So one of the most important jobs on my plate is to keep putting the word out there that prevention is so much better than getting chronic lymphedema because at the moment there is no cure. So one of the exciting pieces of news that I wanted to share in this video with you guys is that the results of the PREVENT trial have just been released. The PREVENT trial was a study that was looking at the comparison of tape measure versus use of LDEX machines to detect early onset lymphedema, but it was also looking at whether or not the LDEX device could help prevent people moving towards chronic lymphedema, so lymphedema that is not going to be resolved. The study included 10 sites between the US and Australia and it involved 1,200 participants. So it was a very large study and it's also a randomised controlled trial which means it is gold standard research. So the first thing the study found was that tape measure is not superior to using an LDEX device for early detection of lymphedema. So if you're a lymphedema therapist out there and you're still relying on a tape measure, please see if you can get your hands on an LDEX device because this is going to be far superior in your early detection of lymphedema. And possibly even more exciting is that the research also found that people using the LDEX device for early detection but also using early intervention also found that 92% of those people did not progress to chronic lymphedema. And this is really important because chronic lymphedema, as I mentioned a minute ago, cannot be cured and it takes a lot of things treatment wise to just manage that condition. One of the biggest problems with chronic lymphedema is that it becomes a massive burden on the patient from a lot of different angles. And what I mean by that is it can have a physical burden, meaning you know your arm can become heavy and cumbersome to use. It can be very psychologically distressing because a lot of people can end up with a very swollen arm which looks very different to their other arm. So it can have emotional impacts from a physical aesthetic factor. It can be very costly to the patient because you are looking at compression garments, you're looking at things like compression pumps, bandaging and all of this is expensive not including the amount of appointments that you may need to access with a lymphedema therapist. There's also the time it involves meaning every single day if you've got chronic lymphedema you have to be doing something towards it whether that's self lymphatic drainage or putting a compression sleeve on or attending an appointment there's always something you've got to be doing to manage that chronic lymphedema and that takes time. There's also the psychosocial impacts of lymphedema People always get curious about things that don't look quite right and strangers can walk up to people with a compression sleeve on asking what's your sleeve for or people who have lymphedema can get quite self-conscious about having a misshapen limb or having to wear compression and in public. So emotionally it can also have that impact from a social level. So the first thing we want to do of course is try to prevent this. So I don't believe that referring patients on for preoperative LDEX scores, so before surgery getting a baseline score on this device, or sending people postoperatively through chemo, through radiation, and then every couple of months in the year following their active treatment is over-servicing. I think it's actually the thing we should be doing, and that's certainly what the research is advocating these days. 
So we really want to aim to prevent this condition. We also want to aim to resolve any early onset lymphedema if possible. And then the third thing we want to do is aim to prevent lymphedema progressing to a more advanced state of the disease. The less advanced state of disease of lymphedema that you have, the easier it is to manage. So with the help of the Impediment Sozo device, I am so pleased to be able to say that every single day in the clinic, we are seeing patients resolving their early onset lymphedema with the help of this device. This is such a brilliant device. It is my best friend in the clinic. I use it all the time. And the reason is because it's so sensitive to fluid changes that we really have the ability to pick up lymphedema at its earliest point. And if we pick it up at its earliest point, we're able to start intervening early. And what I mean by that is we are able to prescribe a compression garment. We're able to teach the patient self-lymphatic drainage massage. We as the therapist may be able to perform manual lymphatic drainage. And then we can also prescribe exercises that the patient can be doing whilst wearing their compression sleeve. And all of these things are what constitute early intervention, which then allows the patient to resolve their lymphedema. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen every single time. Sometimes you can do everything to prevent lymphedema progressing and it will still get away from you. But I can certainly say from a clinical perspective that the large majority of the time we are able to reverse early onset lymphedema if we have been monitoring our patients from an early phase. I'd really like to give a shout out in this video to the staff at Impedimed, but also regional healthcare. So Impedimed are the company that have designed the Impedimed Sozo, but regional healthcare are also the distributors of the Impedimed Sozo. And all of the staff at both of these companies are just absolutely outstanding. Their customer service is second to none. And what I really love is that they're always trying to improve the technology in the device. I'm just gonna quickly pop up a graph that is displayed by the Impediment Sozo once you've stood a patient on it for 30 seconds. This graph will show you the traffic light graph that pops up. And what this is showing us is obviously green, yellow, and red. The green zone meaning that the patient is in normal lymphatic ranges, whereas the yellow zone is showing a little bit of early onset lymphedema and the red suggesting that they are going into levels that are getting a little bit worrisome as far as lymphedema is concerned. So as you'll see from this graph, this is a patient where we have been able to resolve their early onset lymphedema. The earliest dot point is where they have gone from normal ranges in the green zone and then we've seen a spike in their levels into the yellow or the red zone and then over time with early intervention with those treatment techniques I mentioned before we have been able to resolve their lymphedema and sometimes with these patients this can happen quite quickly sometimes over the course of two to six weeks we can be starting to wean them off their compression sleeve and stop the need for them to perform self-lymphatic drainage every day. So if you're a breast surgeon watching this video, then please refer your patients onto a lymphedema therapist even before they're having their initial surgery. Preoperative LDEX scores are very, very beneficial to the patient in helping for diagnosis of potential future lymphedema. If you're a breast care nurse and you're watching this video, you're one of the most important people that can also help patients being prevented from falling through the gaps. What I mean by that is sometimes there's so much happening in the breast cancer diagnosis and early treatment phases by the medical professionals that there's always the chance that a referral onto a lymphedema specialist might be missed. So as a breast care nurse, you're just another point of call at which you can check in with the patient if they've been referred onto a lymphedema therapist, particularly checking for those early signs or symptoms of lymphedema like arm swelling, heaviness, tightness of the limb, pins and needles, or an ache in the arm. If you're a radiation oncologist, this is another really important person in the medical team that can refer on to lymphedema therapy. Radiation is one of the most critical times that a patient should be having LDEX scoring done on a semi-regular basis. I always make sure my patients get at least one LDEX score during their radiation and then another LDEX score two to three weeks following their radiation. Radiation is one of the most common periods in active treatment that lymphedema is potentially going to be triggered. So again, 
If you're a radiation oncologist or even if you're a radiation therapist and you're looking after a patient, please check that they are getting to a lymphedema therapist. And last but certainly not least, if you are a person who has recently been diagnosed with breast cancer and you're watching this video, then please make sure that you are asking the members of your medical team to link you up with a local lymphedema therapist. Even if you can't physically get to one, I can definitely encourage that a Zoom session just to get you educated around signs and symptoms is really beneficial. The other really cool thing that Impedimed have done on their website is a Sozo Finder. So this is essentially linking patients up to clinics that have an Impedimed Sozo device. So I'll pop a little link up on the screen now to show you where you can access that. And this is available in the US and Australia at the moment. This is an absolutely fantastic resource for patients who might be in slightly more rural or remote areas and they would like to get an LDEX done on a Sozo. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've gained some great information on why we should use Impedimed Sozos for LDEX scoring. If you have any questions around LDEX scoring, the Impedimed Sozo, then please leave a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I hope you're having a great week wherever you are. I'm Jen McKenzie, the Breast Cancer Physio, and I'll see you next time.